as you can see is very silent and quiet at 401 and uh i'm going to the bus station to get my bus and it's going to leave from um nairobi to Dar es Salaam, and uh it's going to be 16 hours journey by the bus by road i'm interested but i'm nervous at the same time and uh yeah um, let's see how the journey goes stay tuned check and I just got 30 days in my passport so the journey continues how Tanzania looks like guys we are technically in Tanzania I think everybody is stopping to pee so let it go right there the guy is back we have to go Salam right now I arrived around I think 8 p.m. I left Nairobi around 5 and then 8 p.m. so it's pretty impressive and people drive very crazy here guys <laughs> so I'm going to my Airbnb 
and then I'll continue the journey in the morning to um, the island which is Zanzibar so yes stay tuned I think I paid about $19 <laughs> for this place no one no one that it looks like that anyways paintings on the wall this is where I'm going to stay for the night it's a very old house <laughs> but it's worth the experience that's why i got that was very close to where the ferry will be leaving so there you go at least they have ac i don't know what this is it's like a mosquito net oh boy good morning it's now about let me see the time on the phone 6 39 a.m in dar al salam and uh as you can see it's bright out in the morning so what i'm going to do right now is to leave my airbnb to um the ferry station to get a ferry to the um, zanzibar and that uh, my uber guy is on his way coming to pick me up and uh yeah so after a long day driving for 16 hours you know i arrived in uh, dallas alarm yesterday in the evening around 8 p.m um, went to my hotel, you know, checked in, uh, Airbnb, checked in, woke up in the morning and the journey is still continuous. And um, when I sit, when I get to Zanzibar, I'll sit down to really walk you guys through the whole process. And if it's worth it for you to use road coming to Tanzania, uh, Zanzibar or not. So yeah, enjoy it. Yo guys, my Uber is here on our way to the ferry station. Um, yeah, to get a ferry. I don't know what time it is, but I'm just going to see if it's early, it's better. So, we try to leave uh, the hotel by 7 a.m. to get to the ferry station and at least get the first ferry if we've already not missed it. So, yeah, stay tuned, guys. This is the neighborhood of my Airbnb, it's a hotel. I just found that later. There's the hotel, but it still listed it on the Airbnb, so you can actually book it online. So I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but even though it didn't look so fancy and glamorous and stuff like that, I really had a good sleep. <laughs> I didn't have no mosquitoes or bed bugs or anything like that, so that's a good. And yeah, guys, the journey continues. first I had to go there to get my ticket and then come back here to board the ferry as you guys you, can, you guys can see I have my ticket now there was no uh, VIP it was finished so I had to get economy so yeah and guys you could be, can you believe that I paid in dollars and I got my change in dollars like I'm living in America that's very funny <laughs> So, I just checked in, they scanned my bags, and I'm going to the ferry now to wait. So, what is that? What is that one? 
those boats. This one is stand here because for security. For security? Yeah. Oh, so that's the Navy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting, guys. So we are going to sit here till the ferry comes, right? Yeah, because the ferry is coming. Okay. So you must go to wait for boarding time. Okay. Yeah. Is it the same ferry that leaves in the morning that is coming back? Yeah, when it's coming back, you drop all passengers, then it's time for you to go inside. Yeah. But uh, just come to give you one election. Yeah. Guys, the VIPs are full, man. Yeah. I wanted the best experience to get a VIP so that I can sit comfortably, but it's full, so I'm using economy. Yeah. And it's just one hour to the one hour, 30 minutes to the island, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's okay, no problem. I have to stand, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have one hour and they have. But is, it, is the economy having a, a chair? We can sit or stand? You can sit, you can sit. You can sit, okay. Yeah. But for me, I can have the maybe you can stand the top, top. Because you can see okay. all environments okay. yeah, around the room. Okay. So it will be, be better. So I'll sit at the top? Yeah, top inside. Okay. And they, they will allow me to do that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can choose to sit where you want to sit, right? Yeah, because they have someone inside in the third. I okay. can tell you. Where the mm -hmm. economy, where the yeah. VIP, where yeah. the where you can stand. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's someone. Okay. So I awesome. think you no problem. You can enjoy. Right. Thank you. Yeah. All right, man. Okay. Thank you. I still I still can't get over the fact that they made me pay in dollars for the for the ferry ticket. Gave them dollars cashed for the ticket in and out. And then they balanced me in dollars, like I live in America. What? Zanzibar, do better, man. So even though the the whole country is cheaper on the inside, on the mainland, they've created like a whole another economy for the island, which is just like which they use dollars for everything on the island, you know. So even though it's meant to be cheaper, it's not. So you should know this before you get here, unless you'll be surprised. The boat? Oh, is that our boat? Yeah. Which ticket does it got? You Kilimanjaro or is that small? Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro, that's what it's coming. Yeah. How many people can the boat take? How many people? Yeah. I think more than uh, 100. More than 100 people? Yeah. What's your name? My name is Mr. King Seller. Mr. King Seller. Yeah. And then Chili Boy. Chili Boy. And you are name? Hayford. Hayford. I'm Which? from Ghana. Ah, you are Ghana? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Do you have fr fr friends from Ghana? Ah. No, no, no. no. So I'm I your think you are my first sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. Ah, me too. I want to learn how to swim. Are you going to teach me? Where you go to that? They'll teach you. Yeah. <laughs> so, any foreigner who pays like dollars sits at a VIP lounge, and then the um, Tanzanians who pay like the local rate stays at the economy side, which is like the chairs are all like economy chairs basically. So the fact that you pay dollars, you're gonna get a VIP treatment. Ah, uh, Africa.
I sit here. Okay, thank you. I'll sit here. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. You can see the whole city from here. I mean, this is the high rise buildings. So this is probably the signature of Dar es Salaam. This building's right here. here is almost like a see-through blue ocean right here you see the Tanzania flag right here Karibu Tanzania Wow nice you can see me here representing okay. something like that Kwengwa or something I'll put it somewhere on the screen um, yeah that's pretty much I'm at my Airbnb now about to go check in the beach is right there I'm going to my Airbnb it's a lot of climbing guys Zanzibar finally after two days on the road here. and this is me guys that's my view okay I like I like the views nice thank you guys so I'm gonna tell you what I think of it is it worth it to fly no is it worth it to drive go by the road from Kenya to Tanzania Zanzibar or not so I'm gonna give a review and then you guys decide if it's worth it or not stay tuned <laughs> 